What's up? What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cranny B here, and I am back with yet another hair video. Now, look. Today feels a little bit different. I do want to take it back to the basics and show you guys the basic and fundamentals of laying your wig. So today we're going to start off with bleaching your knots. Today's video I am partnering up with We Queen to bring you guys their Claire No Baby Hair Invisible Straight Bob Lace Front Wig. And this wig is supposed to be beginner friendly you guys. This wig comes with lightly bleached knots, lightly pre-plucked hairline, and an elastic band in the back so you guys can apply this wig loosely. Although the knots did come bleached, it was not light enough for my particular skin tone, so we're going to handle that right now. I'm going to start first by turning the wig inside out, and we're going to use some bleach. This bleach is the Clear All BW Powder Bleach, and this is the biggest tub they have, and I'm going to use exactly one scoop, okay? You can get a fancy bowl, fancy whatever you want to use, but I'm going to use a regular cup. You see how dingy it is? And then I'm going to pour in my 40 volume developer. Now you can eyeball this the best you can. There's no measurement that I use. I really just pour in whatever looks good. Add more as needed and stir it up. You're going to want to have a thick paste. More so like toothpaste or cake batter. Um, that's the consistency I like to go for. And as you can see, one scoop did me just fine. I don't like to use a lot of product because it's not really needed for a full frontal. Also a quick tip you guys, if you can stand up your brush or your tool in your mixture without it tipping over, then you have your ratios just right. After dipping my brush into the mixture, I do brush off a little bit of the excess onto the side of the cup just so that I'm not using too much of their product. And I'm gonna do a quick little hack as well. I'm gonna take my finger and push it up towards the knots to see where to start applying my bleach. You don't wanna apply the bleach too soon or too far back to where you're not getting all the knots at the beginning of the hairline and you do not want to waste product and put the bleach on your legs where there are no knots. So that's just a quick little hack I like to use whenever I'm bleaching the fronts of my wigs. When you're applying the bleach to your knots, you're gonna to wanna to use very light pressure. It looks like I'm really, really going hard and going in, but I promise I'm not. I think it's because I kinda of have the hang of what I'm doing, so I do it a little bit faster and it looks like I'm going really, really hard and going in, but I promise I'm not. Also, as far as my consistency, this is looking a little bit lumpy because I am using an old cup that has old residue of bleach and everything in there I have not cleaned out. So if you guys prefer your mixture to be a little bit more creamy, that's your personal preference, but this is just the methods that work for me. You're done bleaching all of your knots and everything is covered. You're going to want to let the wig sit for at least an hour and 15 minutes. A little side note you guys, y'all see me bleaching this wig without any gloves. If you guys are beginners, I really prefer you guys to use gloves. I should be using gloves, but since your girl's a G like that, I just ain't using no gloves. But I really should. I did use gloves when I first started off, and I left the powder dye, I left the powder bleach on my hand, and I had like little white spots in my skin. Wear gloves. If you are bleaching some knots, or bleaching hair in general, Keep your door open because this 40 volume this 40 volume developer mixed with this bleach is very very strong it goes straight to your brain and you'll be in here zooted and ain't nobody got time for that when you're bleaching some knots okay so yeah it's a little safety tip from me <laughs> now jumping into this install you guys like i said before we are doing this completely gluelessly with the adjustable strap in the back okay after i finally got the wig on my head with some help from my sister-in-law and my niece this lace was so flesh to my skin, I had to struggle and tug so hard to get the wig to lay onto my face. It was not budging. This wig was not going anywhere. If you guys did not know, my sister-in-law is a licensed cosmetologist, so she evaluated the wig and told me that I was in need of a slight trim, which she went ahead and handled for me. So after the cut and the straightening process, your girl was blunted. You hear me? blunted to filth. I did wear my hair like this for a couple of days, but then after that I did get a little bit bored and I want to switch it up a little bit. So I did a nice little 90s, little Kim inspired bob. This style was super easy, super simple, and very quick. So I'm just gonna hush and stop talking so much because you know your girl can talk and I've talked enough, all right? But you guys enjoyed the music, watch me slay the rest of this style and I'll be back in a minute.
you guys, this is the finished look. This is how everything turned out. As y'all saw in the clips, this was not my initial look that I was going for, but I'm glad we got to this place. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that I did this style gluelessly. This wig is not glued down to my head at all. I just put the wig on, use elastic bands attached to the wig already, and I was good. This is my first time ever actually giving an elastic band a true chance because most of the time when companies put elastic bands in their wigs, either the placement is off to where the wig is still kind of floppy and flopping around and not very flush to your head. I'm not just detach it or cut it out, but I said that elastic band made everything so flesh. When I did try to move the wig, I struggled. I highly, highly, highly recommend this wig for the elastic band. Hopefully the elastic band comes with all of their wigs because that's a that's a very nice technology to have. Install was no time at all. Only thing that took the longest, of course, was the styling process. The hair is thick towards the back. Now, I'm not sure if this hair is 180% density or not. Since this wig does come pre-plugged, it's gonna be a lot thinner towards the front because they're giving you a gradient of more or less dense of a hairline so that it'll look more natural. So when I did wear the hair down in a middle part, the main area towards the front that was framing my face didn't really flow as much because it was a little bit thinner than the rest of my hair, which wasn't really a problem. I could've just tucked it behind my ear, but like I said, I just wanted something different. I did wear the hair with a bang on the middle for a little bit, but then I ended up getting bored and then I did this. And now I'm feeling saucy. <laughs> the hair does come in a pre-cut bob. Now the way they cut the bob was good for like a beginner, for like a beginner type bob. The ends were not raggedy at all. It was just not as blunted as I would have liked. So yeah, the bob does come in a nice starter bob cut, pre-made cut. So all you have to do is just dust your ends and you're ready to go. I'm just really shocked at the elastic band and the glueless technology that the wig actually was glueless. Even the sides. Most of the time when you have a glueless wig, you have to at least adhere the sides, your ear tabs and everything of that nature. But I didn't do that. This lace color. I'm not sure if this lace color is considered a light brown or a medium brown. Either way, it's a true brown. Most of the time people send light brown, medium brown, deep brown, dark brown laces. They have a hint of a grayish or an ashy type undertone to it. This was a true brown lace. During the install, you guys did see me add some powder to my lace only because this wig was glueless. I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to a nice, a really, really quality lace, the best way to appreciate that is to use a spray, glue, or a gel. So that way you can see and witness the full melt, the in-depth melt into your skin. It would have made the lace melt into my skin and become as one and like match my skin tone. Oh wow, I think I covered everything. That's amazing. Look at me. I'm on the ball today. This is like your perfect throw on and go wig. If you are a working woman, since it is a bob, it is very blunt and it's very just straight, clean, simple to the point. A big thank you does go out to We Queen Hair for sending this lovely unit. I am in love with it and thank you so much for partnering up with me in the new year for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please not forget to give your a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the beehive down below join the beehive gang the beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever bougie over here do you understand me i know you want to keep in contact with your girl because i'm your best friend you're my best friend we're all best friends so as you go on instagram I mean, what? If you guys have any further questions, video suggestions, or comments and recommendations, please never hesitate in life. Leave those down below in the comment section as well. As always, I love every single one of you, but until next time, my lovelies, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.